Hey there, it's Felix here from HeyDon'tShoot.com and before I get into this product review of the product that we're going to talk about today, real quick, I talked to my buddy Turner who I've been doing Hey Don't Shoot with and we've arranged for a reunion. So this December he's going to fly out here to Texas and we're going to shoot some new episodes and uh, be reunited. So that's something to look forward to. For those of you that are familiar with Hasselblad cameras, uh, you'll know that the digital backs for these cameras are extremely expensive. The CFV50, which is a 50 megapixel digital back, is like $17,000. I am not exaggerating. It costs a lot of money. Even the 39 megapixel version is like $7,000 used. So that's just way out of my price range, way out of most people's price ranges. So what do you do if you want to shoot a Hasselblad digital? Because normally you've got a film back like this and you're shooting six by six film. Well, something caught my eye on the internet and it is sort of a digital back. It's, um, it's, it's a back that replaces the film back. And the way it works is it's got a slot in the back here and you slide your iPhone 4 or your iPhone 5 into the back and then the camera lens lines up with this lens here in the back of the the product and then it captures the picture through this piece here I don't know what they call it but basically this attaches to the back of your Hasselblad like so and then your cell phone has an app that you download, it's called Hasselnuts, and the product, the product is called Hasselnuts. So, you got your cell phone here, you download the Hasselnuts app, and you slide it into the back, like so. All right, fits in there pretty good. So I'm gonna go over the features and how it works before I get into telling you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. So basically, the way it works is, you open up the app, and the first thing you're going to want to do every time you use the app is to calibrate the focus. The way you calibrate the focus is you go mirror up and there's a tool called focus calibration. You press the focus button, it focuses the hassle nuts and you're good to go. Then to take the picture, there's a little button here on the app that says sync shutter. And I think the way it works is when you take the picture, I think the way it works is that the sound of the shutter triggers the application to snap the picture. All right, so you press the sync shutter, you compose your shot, and the trick when you're using this is you, you press the shutter button and you don't release it until you hear the app snap the picture as well. So you listen, and then you hear the sound of the application take the picture, and the picture has been taken. Okay, so let me talk about the things I don't like about this product. First of all, it comes in a really nice box. So I, I, my hopes were up. It com comes in this really nice case. And I thought, wow, that, you know, it's a nice presentation. It's going to be a nice product, right? And it, it comes in this nice foam packaging. But when I took the product out and felt it, it's, it's, pla it's really plasticky. It feels hollow and really plasticky and not well made. And the first one that I bought, the lens piece here was actually not there. It was inside of the casing, so you could hear it rattling around on the inside. The, um, the little button here came off. I mean, it, it just, to me, did not feel really well made. It didn't feel very sturdy compared to an original um, uh, Hasselblad back, film back, which is made of metal and it's heavy and the construction is really, really sturdy. This was not extremely well made. The other thing I don't like about it is it's very limited in terms of um, the types of photos you can take. And it even tells you when you first set it up that it's really made for um, slower shutter speeds and wider apertures. So it's good for still life. It's probably good for um, landscapes but it's definitely not good for sports or anything anything like that um, so there are some limitations because what I wanted I wanted to have some digital photos with my Hasselblad right who doesn't for the price you won't believe the price point on this or maybe you will this goes for like 350 bucks 
or 360 bucks retail. I bought it because there was a sale, so I paid 299. But really, um, I don't think it's worth that much money. I, I don't. I think this is maybe worth 150 bucks, maybe 100 bucks. Uh, because of the limitations and, and the pictures really aren't that great with it. But we're going to walk around and do some sample photos. Overall, you can see that these images are of very poor quality. I had much higher expectations. I checked out their website and had seen some of the sample images, and the sample images that I saw prior to purchasing this piece of equipment, they looked pretty good. But as you can see here, the results that I got are, are really poor, and this product just isn't worth the money. I've probably taken 50 to 100 shots with this uh, Hasselnuts digital back. We call it a digital back, but like I said, what it is, it's got a slot for your iPhone, it's got an application. You're actually taking it with your iPhone camera through a translucent piece here. It synchronizes with the Hasselblad somehow. It's kind of gimmicky. You end up with like a six megapixel image. Um, it's kind of fun, you know, but it's more of a toy than anything else. Any serious photographer is going to stick with a film back, scan those negatives, and end up with some really nice quality images that the Hasselblads produce. It's just a toy is what it is, and it's way too much money at $300. But you guys will get a look at the photos. You can decide for yourselves. Hey, thanks for watching this edition of HeyDon'tShoot.com. Be sure to like this video, leave a comment, and most importantly, subscribe to our channel.